it's a good time to go ahead and get the little ones out of the room. We're going to be having some grown up discussion this morning. No need to wait until the spring to clean up your sex life. If you're not happy with the way things are going in the sack, it turns out cleaning your house and your bedroom aren't as different as they may seem. Dr. Rose Hartzell from San Diego Sexual Medicine at Alvarado Hospital is here with five ways that you can tidy up things in the bedroom. Yes? Yes. Okay, Thanks let's start with me. the first one. Getting started is the hardest part. How do we get started doing this? So oftentimes when you want to clean your house, like you look at the bathroom and it just seems overwhelming. And for many couples, uh, having a conversation about their sex life or their relationship can uh, be that n negative of, of experience for them. But ultimately, you have to start somewhere. So what I recommend is if you start with something positive, like something you really like and you're happy with, it takes your partner off the defensive and it allows you to share something maybe constructive, uh, some constructive criticism without them um, not being able to hear because they're on the defensive. Can you so give me start, an example of that? So Erica, you look so beautiful today. I love when you kiss my neck. It's awesome. But can you blink, 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 blink in the future? Gotcha. That okay. really kind of turns me on. So you're giving someone con some constructive criticism, but it's not like, hey, you know, I really don't like it when you blah, blah, blah. Do whatever. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right. So number two, uh, things might actually get worse before they get better. What do you mean by that? So when you clean the house, you throw everything out, everything's out of its drawers. You look at the room and you're like, oh my goodness, it's worse than it was when I started. <laughs> should have ever done right. anything. Yeah, and the same is uh, when you are working on your relationship. So it's kind of sad how many couples I'll see where they um, are maybe headed towards divorce or really unhappy with something. And I meet with the, one of the partners individually and they tell me all this stuff. And I'm like, have you shared it with your partner? And they're like, no, I don't want to hurt their feelings or I don't want to cause waves. And it's like sometimes things need to get worse before they get better. So sometimes you have to say those really um, what you are afraid might be hurtful things. But ultimately that allows your partner to hear them and maybe make some changes and for you to have a dialogue about it. Good. All right. Number three, uh, you say use tried and true techniques in new places. So just like you can use Windex on the mirrors and the windows and the countertops, you can use things that work for you in the master bed, in the master bedroom floor, okay. or the couch. Or So don't be afraid to um, use things that work for you in other places of the house. Very good. Or outside the house. Very good. <laughs> oh, okay. If you're into nature, you know. Um, Just don't get arrested. <laughs> yeah, true. Good point. Good point. Uh, another um, tip for tidying up your sex life, especially if you're not happy, you say find the right products out there for right. you. So it's the 21st century. You don't have to get in your hands and knees to clean the floor anymore. We have Swiffers, we have mops. Um, same is true for the bedroom. So um, there's personal massagers out there. You can use lubricants. Indiana University, where I did my graduate work, um, has done a lot of research on how lubricants can add um, some fun and pleasure in the bedroom. Um, scented candles, handcuffs, um, blindfolds. Don't be afraid to, to add use the right products to make things easier. And explore a little bit. Yeah. Lastly, you say you might need to find a professional and don't be afraid to do that. Yeah, so just like um, sometimes you have to bring that, that house cleaner in, you're busy, things are too messy, you want someone to help sort through things, um, don't be afraid to go to a therapist to help you sort through your issues. Uh, a lot of people aren't uh, aware of this, but sex therapists have to be licensed. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, but they have to be either a licensed psychologist or a li uh, licensed social worker or, or whatnot. So gotcha. um, they're just more comfortable talking to, about sex. But go to whoever you're comfortable with and Very don't good. be afraid to ask for help. Dr. Rose, thank you as always. We really appreciate it. To get in touch with Dr. Rose Hartzell, all you have to do is go to our website, Fox 5 San Diego.com. Click on that scene on tab. All right, Paul, back over to you.